the Mercury Island tusked weta was only discovered in 1970. These huge and ancient giant insects were so close to extinction that today's entire population is descended from just one male and two females. With the witty witty They're from a little island called Middle Island. During the early 1990s, Doc realised the population was going down and they were getting harder and harder to find. And so they decided to set up a captive breeding program. And the last five ever found on Middle Island, three of those were brought back into captivity. So possibly the entire world population is from, from those three. We still hope that they are on Middle Island, but they're just very hard to find at the moment. Why are they not found on the mainland? Why did it take so long to discover them in, on this offshore island? Well, rats, <coughs> rats are probably the main, main reason. So this, this island, Middle, Middle Island, has never had rats on it. Would a tuatara eat a tasweta for lunch? Yeah, yeah. On Middle Island, there are a lot of tuataras, so it's probably the main enemy of the wetters there. Right. But also the big geckos and skinks, they would eat the small, the juvenile wetters. And we've now, now reared them and released them on six new islands. What's involved in rearing, essentially, an insect dinosaur in captivity? Yeah, well, food is important. So they're mainly carnivorous oh. and eat other, other insects. And they can be cannibals too. And so I normally have just one per container. Fish food is their, their favorite, but also they like things like mealworms yep. and dried crickets. They do eat some vegetation, some leaves, but they're mainly carnivorous. So the males have these tusks and they're used for combat with other males. So they lock, lock their tusks together and they try to flip the other one over. The females don't have tusks, but they have a long spike at the back yep. for laying eggs. And not very aggressive, so they very seldom bite. So, yeah, it's an easy target for a rat. These are the eggs. So these are actually hatched eggs, so just the egg, empty eggshell. And so the eggs are laid in the autumn and winter, and they hatch the following spring. So they're buried down underneath the soil, are they? Yeah, that's right, yep. And when they hatch, they're very tiny compared to the adult. So that's a new hatchling. And it takes about a year and a half to grow from, from a hatchling to an adult. It's been seven years since any tusked wetter were found on their original island home near the Coromandel. But thankfully, Chris has managed to bring these animals back from the brink. And his wetta nursery has meant a whole new generation of wetter are now able to flourish on offshore island sanctuaries.